Hi, I'm Jerry and I'm the director of Night Watches. I watch a lot of cartoons when I was younger, so a lot of references like Mummy's Alive and stuff like that, you can see it in the show. It was really funny to see how she's all wrapped up and she's doing her best play link there. Okay, apart from her beautiful charms, she'll be using her tentacles oh, yes. to attack me and we will do some jujutsu roll on the floor. The person who was performing the stunt with me was just really very patient and <laughs> he really worked very hard with me. I'll never forget that scene, I really like that scene. The idea of it is the most fun because there's a bit of backstory to why we came out with that monster. It's based off a lot of urban legends in Singapore where, you know, they always say like the last cubicle in the top floor of the toilet, there's always this you no know, ghost or monster or alien thing that people are afraid of. They always don't dare to go to that toilet kind of thing. And so we tried to find that style where we can not just modernize it, but at the same time to make it more believable in live action as well. My favourite monster is actually the Galanguni man because he's such a misunderstood character. And it, and I actually think that monster brought up a very um, different side of Sarah. With Galanguni man, right, you can see there was this switch inside her where she felt something that wasn't very verbal. She was able to like kind of sense that, you know, there's something more to these creatures than just, you know, attack and kill. They, they have their own stories too. So uh, the Galanguni man was just a good example of that. My favourite monster is a monster that I actually don't get to fight, but it was the swamp monster that I believe David fights. Shout out to Joseph. My name is Joseph. I play the role of a swamp monster for Night Watchers. He was in a lycra suit or something, something that looked like a diving suit in the middle of what felt like 45 degrees Celsius heat. My favourite monster has to be the Zombie Queen. It's a really cute character. I am the queen of the my worlds. It's really adorable. It's kind of like a tongue-in-cheek kind of character that you guys would figure out soon enough. So yeah, enjoy that segment. <laughs> I think I have to give a shout-out to my man, Peps Go. He played the oily monster. Sorry? I really like what he did, and we played off each other, as we usually do. <laughs> On that note, every monster in the show is really designed well and I really hope you guys can see the atmosphere behind it and enjoy the show.